Hey everyone, Bricknut here. In this video, there's two things I want to talk about. One, I've got some progress on the LEGO City, on the little park area at this end where we are. And two, if you remember my uh, Speed Champions mini set review that I did, and I mentioned that I had to contact LEGO's customer service because the sticker sheet was damaged. In fact, a good chunk of it was missing. Well, I finally got a replacement sheet. So I'm really happy about that. It did take a little while, about two weeks, but no rush for that. Well, I was in no rush anyway. But it seems, if I just show you the envelope it came in, it was well packaged. They actually had a, a piece of card in here to keep everything nice and flat, but it took so long because it actually came from Denmark. It came from Billund. So that explains why I think it took up about a week after Lego's customer service um, had emailed me. If I'd phoned them it would have probably been a lot quicker but I don't like using the phone. <laughs> anyway they also sent a letter and this letter is just basically saying, well in fact I'll read it out to you. Dear Andrew, we're sorry that the... I'll try that again. We're sorry there was something wrong with your new Lego set. The parts you need are in with this letter so you can get building and have fun. We try really hard to make sure all Lego toys are perfect and we take it very seriously when a faulty one sneaks through. Controlling the quality of the toys that leave our factory is a big job and we spend a long time trying to get trying to get it right. We have a whole department of experts and machines who like nothing better than to catch any faulty Lego sets and we've passed your comments on to them. It'll help them make sure this doesn't happen again. That's just got some information about contacting them if I need to. Happy building, Lego service. So, I just want to add to that that um, I've been an AFOL since 2004 and I've bought a lot of sets over the years and this is actually the first time I've encountered a problem. I um, have never found any missing parts and I've never found any damaged instru not instruction sheets, um, sticker sheets. So, I have to say, I think LEGO's quality control is top notch. And uh, I'm on a few LEGO Facebook groups and I don't hear many stories about missing parts and whatnot either. Here and there, maybe once or twice a week, something like that. So, I still think it's good quality control. Anywho, let's move on to the um, city, shall we? I'm just going to loosen up the screws on the camera. Tripod. Yes, we've got a big cat sitting in the way as well. Bless him. So, as you can see, I've now got two more base plates here. So this whole corner is now done base plate wise which means I need one more green one but uh, my local Argos only stocks two at a time for some reason and now I haven't got any change to go and get my last one then it's just the blue ones uh, I need the last one to go down at that end of the city somewhere in that general area area um, where the garage is a bit further up from the police station that's the last spot I need a base plate so if I get time I'll be able to go in tomorrow anywho I had to swap the new ones for some of these old dark green ones from the other end of the city as well because um, well I didn't think the light, the new lighter green ones would have suited down here as I've done it all in the dark green so did have to swap those but uh, yeah we're done I might actually have to move now actually I'll move the camera that'd be easier 
So, I've got a bench and a bin here, and a burger bar here, and that's pretty much all I've got in the park at the minute. Um, and the beginnings of a fence behind Nemo, which if I can, I'll just raise you up. There it is. That's what's there, what I've started. It's just a rough draft at the minute, because I'm not sure if I'm going to keep that or what I want to do with that yet. I'm not sure if I want it in black, if I want to go grey, like a light, light grey. Um, I'm hoping you guys could uh, give me some ideas and some thoughts on that. Or maybe a completely different style of border fence entirely. Keeping in mind I want to go down this edge and this edge as well so it looks all complete. Sorry, did I just catch your nose? <laughs> Um, I'm also looking for some ideas on what to put in here. I seem to have uh, hit like writer's block, for want of a better description. Um, so I've literally just got the bench and the bin and a burger bar. Or a snack bar. I might actually refer to that as a snack bar. So people using the park can uh, get snacks and refreshments easily. Kitty kitty go! Catzilla's been knocking my streetlights over again, hasn't he? You've got a thing against my streetlights. Nothing else, just my streetlights. <laughs> Especially the one in this corner on my little decking area. Um, yeah, he doesn't like that one. In fact, is it in a shot? It is. I'll show you which one it is. It's this one. He's knocking this one over. Um, I do plan to put some um, illuminated street lights in this corner. I'm going to use these. And I've picked these ones because I didn't think white would suit this and I want to go black anyway. But they've got the hollow stud on the top so I can poke the wires down. It does mean that I might have to drill a tiny little hole in one of these studs, but I think I can live with that. I might get flamed for that in the comments though, if I do that. Because <laughs> I know there's people out there that are so purist with this that they don't like seeing Lego damaged. And ordinarily I don't, but the way I see it, it's only going to be a little hole for a couple of wires to go through. And it's not going to damage the stud so it can't be used for anything. Because obviously this has got to go on top of the stud like that. It's just about in camera shot, isn't it? Let's move it. You know, so... It's only going to be a dinky little hole, so... I can live with that. There's, only, there's going to be a couple. I'm going to put one somewhere up here by the... snack bar. I probably want one by the gate. If I have some sort of footpath going through the park, perhaps I could put one down there. I've only got four of these, though. But, uh, yeah, I'm still planning where I want to put them. Obviously, because I want to put electric lights in them, I'm going to have to be 100% certain on where I want them. I think that one will stay exactly where it is now. I think that's um, in a suitable position. In fact, there. <laughs> Design some sort of pathway, I think, to go from the steps to here as well. But not the usual, you know, two by two tiles to make a square path because that's just going to be dull and boring and I don't think that's going to suit the park. This has actually been quite a challenge for me. It's coming out of my comfort zone to build it. Because I'm so used to building buildings. I'm not used to building things like this. This was something new that I'd never done before. And I actually want to possibly make some modifications to that. Such as put some of these arches in like over that bit because I just think it's looking a little bit square and I'm not liking it <laughs> um, so I'm gonna have a play around I'm hoping I could just take like this section off I'm hoping that will just pop off and make the life easier to work on that uh, center bit anyway and then I gotta get the position right so the train can go through it so that's one of the reasons I've got the train up here and to make sure that these 
the nose of the train misses all this fencing that I'm going to put in there because um, when it goes around the corners on the track that nose just ha does hang off the um, edge of the track by quite a distance actually because it's so long so that doesn't it makes it a challenge to get things right I can't just build because I guarantee if I did that I'll get it wrong and end up sending the train around the track and taking something out and I don't particularly want to do that so I think Nemo just wants attention because I've been out all day and I'm going to be out all day tomorrow anyway that is it for this video I know you can't quite see what's going on here but you do get to see Catzilla here he's loving the attention um, yeah so I would like some ideas on what to put in here um, ideas on a border fence ideas basically <laughs> so thanks a lot for watching I hope you enjoyed the video and a big thumbs up to Lego customer service very helpful very good experience and uh, as always give the video a thumbs up if you liked it if you didn't give it a thumbs down and uh, I'll talk to you in the next video oh and also don't forget I do have a link to the official uh, Facebook page for this channel and discord server down below as well if you'd like to check those out I am beginning to use both a lot more so they're not going to be dead pages or servers anyway I'll talk to you again soon bye